Okay, we're back with Amanda now, but that's not Amanda. Who is that? <laughs> Michelle Williams. She was in a movie I saw recently. Her face has changed. They all get work done, don't they? Yeah. I think I'm going to get some work done. I think she's a little younger than <laughs> too. She's younger there, younger and blonde. Yeah, she's a young blonde. All right, and you're the young brunette. Yes. Hello. <laughs> she's cute. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah. 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 She's got nice eyes. Very pretty. I feel like Puerto Ricans always have really nice eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody always thinks I'm Italian because Ita I have light eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Italian, Puerto Rican, Puerto Italian. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do a nice short haircut. Now, just let's look at the hair. It's quite kind of fine hair. Yeah, it looks like it might have some texture, and it's curly too. If we come and have a look around the sides in the back, so it needs to be. Uh, hey Jesse, good to see you, man. Happy New Year, everybody. What we need to do here is we need to like get in there with a the precision-based hair cutting. So I am gonna hand the phone over or the camera over to Olivia. I'm gonna get my red, my red scissor comb. She's got a low hairline here too. This is the kind of hair with it curly, it's fine, it gets a bit transparent. We don't want to make it look too transparent. I'm gonna take my Hydro Mist, which is my spray conditioner, and I'm gonna douse the hair. We wash the hair with daily shampoo. I'm gonna douse the hair in Hydro Mist, and I'll use it as my cutting lotion. You blow dry your hair, Amanda? Yes. Do you use a brush? Yes. What a kind of a brush? brush. A round, round brush. brush. Just try and smooth it all out, yeah? Yeah. We're gonna give you a great haircut. You come and stand here, Olivia. We're gonna give you a great haircut, so it's gonna make it a lot better. Does it sound like a plan? Yes. Stan, good. <laughs> Who usually cuts it, Amanda? Um, I go to somebody in Queens. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And who are they? Um, Is it a regular hairdresser? Francesco. Um, yeah, I've been going to him for the past five months. How'd you meet him? So I used to go to somebody else in that salon to get my hair colored. Uh huh. And um, a friend of mine recommended him to me. Gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna kind of clean all this up. I'm gonna drop that head chair down just a little. Sections are on a slight diagonal. Lock that chair in. Keep the camera. There you go. I gotcha. Hello, Victoria Wodarski. <laughs> Happy New Year. Good to see you. Diagonal back section, sectioned at the round of the head. Right around the temple area here, we're gonna take this in nice and clean. You don't want the hair to bunch up there. So we take that in nice and tight. Keep the sections nice and clean. I'm working with my red scissor comb. I'm working with the fine teeth of the comb to get precision in my work. And there you go. Small little bits, and we just comb that hair forward. And what we're gonna do now, is we're just gonna chip. Chip around, are you getting a good angle there? Yeah. Chip around. Second section. Keep your sections nice and clean. Over out in the hair slightly forward, building into a little bit of weight. We call this finger width. Now, uh, Amanda's hair's fine, so if you don't cut it perfectly, it's gonna wave. And she fights the wave because she wants her hair to be straight. It's just the thumb that moves, so just one blade moves, see that? And I like to comb it after each cut. Just move back a smidgen, please, Olivia. Thanks, love. <laughs> All up in your grill. You get all up in my <laughs> grill. So a little bit longer than finger length. If I go too short, I think the hair might get too transparent. With the hair damp, the hair looks finer. When the hair dries, the hair's gonna look thicker. Diagonal back sections following the shape of the head. You take your section, you comb, you comb onto your finger, there's your guide. And you just cut that right there. When you comb the hair down after each cut, you get to see how on point you are. If the hair moves or waves a little, it means it wasn't cut perfectly in sync. 
So you always comb after you cut to see how that's sitting. Look at the amount of hair that she's got here. It's a lot. When was your hair cut last, Amanda? Uh, a month ago. A month ago. Do you pay for your haircuts usually? How much? 45. How much? 45. $45, okay. So keep it nice and clean. Your comb goes right onto the section. Straight out, the guide is right there. And then we comb it down. Behind the back of the ear, same thing. Get right in. This is the bit that Olivia likes. If I do the special move, I just remembered. <laughs> Remember? There we go. There it is. <laughs> just gonna comb that forward right here put my finger in here and i'm just gonna very lightly small little chippy motions just chip that hair away i'm gonna comb the hair back i oh, sorry comb the ear back and comb the hair back and again i'm just gonna chip in chip 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 really precise having a look at the hair Seeing how that hair falls. She's got a little wave to her hair. Feels like there's a little bit of weight right there. So let's lift it up. And there it is, that little corner. Just take that corner away. Check it right in here. Now she's been getting this short cut, but it's been left too long on the top. When the hair's curling, it's left too long. She's got the overall idea of the shape, but it's not as good as it can be. So today we're gonna to really maximize it. Yep. Precision-based cutting on hair like this is critical. Keep your sections nice and clean, fine teeth of the comb, over directing the hair slightly forward, building up weight. I'm building into a little bit of weight here. So I'm not cutting directly uh, above the section. I'm over directing the hair forward towards me so that I can build in a little bit of weight. I don't want the hair to be too transparent. So I'm not taking it too, too short. But in the nape here, and this is why we use smaller scissors. Yep, this is why we use smaller scissors, a five or a five and a half inch so that you can get your fingertips right into the nape. Right here, so you put your comb there on the section, then your finger comes in and you comb it onto your finger and you sit that hair in. Don't focus on the details just yet. Focus on the overall section, focus on the overall balance of the shape, get consistency and speed. Yeah, consistency and speed. Detail comes later in the cut. So we'll put it in general proportion. I can do some minor detailing to make sure I feel good about where we're going. But I'll do my major detailing once I've put in the general shape. And the general shape is gonna be cut precisely so I don't have to do too much cross-checking. I'm not a big fan of over cross-checking my work. Now she does have a low hairline. We want to keep it soft and we want to keep it feminine. Yeah? So keep it nice and clean. See how I control the hair. Notice how the fine teeth of the comb, again, over directing this hair over, building a little bit of shape. You can see the length here, so we've got a little bit of weight build up right there. Your section should be the same thickness each time. That's gonna make for a more perfect cut. We can texturize later. We can do all the things that we want later. But for now, we're just gonna keep it nice and precise. Let's speed up the process. So if you're just tuning in, we've got a lot of things happening for uh, Erosio in 2019. A lot of exciting stuff. Our education calendar is done. And we're slowly putting the final touches on it. There's a lot of exciting stuff happening. The first class is going to be, our first hands-on class is here in February. It's razor hair cutting with me. 
So if you want to learn my technique, then definitely come to that. It, you, can, you can get the class online at erosiopro.com. $800 for a two-day hands-on straight razor class. You want to learn razor cutting from me? I'm guaranteed to be on that class. If you want to see us before that, we're going to be in a few different places. Next Monday, that's Monday the 14th, I'm going to be in Greenwich, Connecticut. And I'm going to be at Peary Hair Studio. And you can come and see us for a complimentary class. It's a happy Monday's class. Myself, I'm going to be joined with a fellow ambassador, very successful owner. His name is Derek Anthony. Super successful owner, great hairdresser. Just celebrated a uh, million dollars in business and he's only been in business a couple of years. So phenomenal business owner, great inspirational guy. Come and check him out with me at Piri Hair Studio. Now the class is complimentary. We're gonna have wine, crackers, and great inspirational haircutting for, uh, for Monday night. The following weekend, if you're gonna be in New Orleans, Lena Orojo, my wife, is gonna be there, and she's gonna be teaching. And she's going to be uh, doing a thing called Elevate Hair, which is something that a former employee of mine, Mr. Tatum Neal, has developed. And uh, Lena's going to be there in New Orleans. February the 4th, I've got Happy Mondays here in New York City. And uh, we're planning also for Happy Mondays in Chicago on February the 11th. So that's just for tasters. We also are going to be doing uh, some exposés and Happy Mondays. Denver, Salt Lake City, Montreal, New Orleans. So we got plenty of uh, ideas for education. We're going to be at all the trade shows, the ISSE trade show. I'm going to be teaching a hands-on razor class, American Wave certification. The new year started and we're going to be busy pushing through. Also, in my brand this year, we're going to be expanding. Our Tribeca location has been very successful. And uh, Olivia, who's behind the camera, mm -hmm. she works in our Tribeca location. Well, we're expanding the salon. We're doubling the size of the salon. And we're going to create our digital studio. So we'll have a fully immersive digital studio uh, by the middle of the year and we're going to slowly start to increase what we teach through our online portal. So that's going to be very exciting. Definitely sign up for erosiosocial.com. You can get the app Erosio Social from the App Store and you can stay connected to Erosio. All right, so I've worked all the way through. Now I'm going to start to work over the head. So when I say work over the head, I'm going to start to work over the head. So I'm going to comb this hair. This hair is now horizontal. So I'm starting to build up weight. I don't want to cut the hair too short. She's used to having a lot more hair on the top than what I would recommend. But right now, I'm just going to slowly start to build up the shape. Do you push it more one way than the other, Amanda? more that way great so this way we're going to start to build up the weight and she has texturizing in here but way too much length when you have length like this you have to really mush it around to make it look good so when we cut it shorter it's actually going to look thicker and piecier it's going to look better now what we want to watch for in the mirror come behind and see in the mirror we want to watch for, we don't want to make sure it doesn't bubble up too much right here. I'm going to drop the chair down, because now I'm working on the top. That's going to help me to get right on top of the section. I'm not going to over direct, I'm still over directing it, but I'm not pulling it all the way down right now. Slightly more elevation as I go. And notice how I comb it nice and clean from the base of the root. All the texturizing is going to be done later. Again, I'm just focusing on general shape. 
She has a lot of hair. But she doesn't need. Yeah, she doesn't need it. If she wants that short, kind of cute cut, she doesn't need it. So keep your sections clean. Work over the head. Notice how I'm cutting right the way into the back. So you'll notice I come all the way through. I've got my lovely hydro mist here. You cannot spray too much hydro mist in. It will never make the hair greasy or oily. You cannot spray too much of the hydro mist in. It's a lightweight spray conditioner. I like to use it to cut with. It helps me coat the hair, it adds shine. I sell it as a great refresher. It's a resetting spray. So for people that maybe don't want to wash their hair every day, which is a lot, you can reset your hair with Hydro Mist. Lighter than water. All the way up and over. Now you can see the length that we've built into. And I always push that hair to see how it kind of looks in the mirror. All right, the head can come over a little bit this way. Stay over the head. We're working into length now. We don't want to over direct it anymore else it's going to get too long. So now we're lifting the hair straight up. I'm seeing that when she's had this haircut in the past, it's been texturized. When you texturize curly hair like this, sometimes you don't get the effect. If you saw my first haircut, was a short haircut. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's a, it's a slight undercut. And uh, the undercut itself, and we cut it dry, and we did a lot more texturizing because the texture of the hair was different to the texture of the hair here. Uh, Melissa has, has a question about the barbering class in February. Does she bring yes. her own tools? And how long is it? <clears throat> If you're joining the barbering class, you get a kit with a rosier as part of the program. Uh, the program is approximately three and a half to four months long. And it's a very in-depth uh, barber program. So you can get all the information on a rosier cosmetology. If you are interested, you come down for a tour. The barbering program we started last year, it's been very successful and we have some amazing barbering teachers. So we're doing barbering, which is very intricate with scissor cutting as much as clipper cutting. And we're trying to create and develop. And we do have a lot of techniques online that you can check out on our subscription, where we really focus on men's hairdressing. We'd love to see you come down for a tour, come and check it out. We'll teach you how to shave, we'll teach you how to clipper, we'll teach you how to cut, and we'll also share with you what great opportunities you can have in men's hairdressing. Because barbering has been very popular. I like to say it's been in vogue for a long time. But right now, I think it's gonna start to move into a transition because uh, a lot of people from the, from, the, from the barbering school want to work in high-end stores. How much do you charge for a men's haircut, Olivia? 80, 88. $88. So you see a premium price is kind of something that the Erosio brand really, really promotes and believes in. I'm going to save the bangs till last. I'm working them over the center of the head now. So we comb that hair down, comb it across. And you can see what we've done is we've sat this in a little bit snugger. And now we're going to get in here and take away the, uh, the lump that she's got through this side. I'm gonna lift the chair up. We have chairs with hydraulics so that we can get in the right position. I'm gonna use the hydro mist again. Amanda, how are you doing? How's your makeup career going? Pretty good. Yeah? What kind of stuff do you do? Um, weddings, basically anything that anybody needs, photo shoots. Yes. Haven't done fashion makeup in a while. Yeah. Um, I haven't done fashion yet, that's cool. Well, you gotta tell Christine, is it Christine who you spoke to for this? Yes. Christine books all of our makeup artists for all of our shows. So you gotta get connected. Puerto Rico, we gotta do it, baby. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same thing as we did on the opposite side. Section the hair off where the head round where the head rounds. I'm gonna start right in here. There's not much space between the eyebrow 
and the temple. So we're going to sit this temple in tight, like a tiger. Yeah, sit it in, create a little bit more space. Come through here. When you're working, you can't use clips. So you're working in here, don't use clips. But this is where you practice real good combing. Finger, finger width here, we call this finger length because it's the width of my fingers. Right there. My fingers are not following the head flat. I'm actually coming slightly away from the head to build up a little bit of weight in the shape. And it's just the one thumb that moves for precision base cutting. We comb that hair forward now and we rest and I just chip. Chip, chip into the hair. Keep it nice and clean. Next section, fine teeth of the comb. Coming through. Just the thumb moving in the hair. Next section, fine teeth of the comb. Down we go. Notice how I comb it after each cup. That's allowing me to see how the hair lies. If it's cut really well, it will lie really well. When I comb it, it won't wave. It will just collapse and look smooth. So that's why I notice how I take my section with the wide teeth. I comb the hair with the fine teeth. And then afterwards I comb it with the wide teeth. Now, if you're just tuning in for the first time, Tonight, we have a big event here at Orojo. We are celebrating 10 years of Orojo Cosmetology School. I opened my cosmetology school 10 years ago, 2009, and it's 2019. So January 2009, we've graduated hundreds and hundreds of students over the years. A lot of them will come back today. Our teachers all come back, our former teachers. We're going to celebrate Arojo Cosmetology. We have two schools now. We have the school here in Soho, which is what we like to call our boutique school. And then we also have a school in Tribeca, which is under a little bit of renovation, a little bit for the school, but mainly for the salon. But we're modifying it and improving it. So you'll definitely be invited when we do the relaunch of Orojo Tribeca. You can come down and see what we've got and see what we're doing. So you see how I'm just working in the front parts of my fingers. Comb that hair forward. Let's just come in here and just, just clean up just a little. I'm going to focus on the details later. I'm going to continue to work with what we call diagonal back sections. I'm going to start to build the weight up so you can see we've got weight building up here. So I'm building up the head shape. When you learn short haircutting, it's all about the position of your fingers and the consistency in the section and the combing. So work precisely, methodically, cleanly so you can get that precision base cut. We do the detail work later. We're just putting in general shape right now. Olivia, I think you was going to ask a question, was you? Or was you just <laughs> yawning? I can't remember. No, um, Dennis has a question. Um, will you be at Alex's salon in Chicago? I sure will. We have a schedule to be going to Alex's salon. I believe it's either uh, before the summer or straight after the summer. We may be there twice. But I'll be in Chicago a lot. I'm in Chicago now once a month. So I'll be in Chicago a lot. We have an amazing distributor there, Beautycraft. And we're doing phenomenal things in Chicago. We'll also be at the Big Hair Show, America's Beauty Show. The president is my dear friend. The new president, should I say, is a dear friend of mine. And I'm talking about the president of the association. Her name's Karen Gordon. 
Yep, so Karen's the new president, Erosia will be there. We'll have a lot of our ambassadors working with us at the trade show in the, uh, in the early spring. We'll be excited for that. So we love our Chicago. I don't know if I like deep dish, but I definitely like Chicago. <laughs> You love deep dish. No, oh, you're okay. You're only 12. <laughs> yeah? It doesn't stick to you like it sticks to me. Yeah? It goes straight on my, uh, straight on my hips. Ooh, baby, don't you talk like that. Okay, so now fine teeth of the comb, working into the hair that's already been cut from the opposite side. You can see she's got a little bit of extra length here and here, but we got techniques for that. Again, I'm not focusing so much on the detail. I'm focusing more on the general shape. Fine teeth of the comb. Working all the way through. Fine teeth of the comb. Now you see we're working into the previously cut hair, which is right there. And I comb the hair down. And I'm always using my eyes to look to see how well the hair is actually sitting. Look at the excess hair here, so much excess. See right here, there's the excess hair. Don't let your sections get too diagonal. Keep them slightly diagonal and make sure you comb the hair straight out. Um, Katrina Williams asks, how can a licensed hairdresser become a part of the Erosio Creative team? Uh, you have to carry Erosio product in your salon. So whether you're an independent hairdresser or you work in a branded salon as an employee or as a renter, you have to use Erosio product. If you carry an Erosio product, you can apply to become part of the Ambassador Artistic team. Yeah, you go to Erosio Social and uh, you'll send us in a video for the artistic team. We're just beginning, really. Last year was the creation of the Erosio artistic team. We have about 25 people on the art team right now. We're launching a distribution in Florida, so we're gonna be building that team. And uh, you get a lot of education, and then you're on call to help do product and local classes to help support the growth of the Erosio brand. If you're interested, get connected. If, you, if your salon doesn't carry a rojo, talk to your salon owner, see if they're interested. That's, but you have to carry the products because we can't have a hairdresser rep the product if they're not using it every day. It just doesn't make sense. Is my cross over? Okay. So you see, I'm just looking in here just to just clean that up. I don't wanna do any more than that because I wanna focus on the detail later. You're always using your eyes and I'm gonna work across the hair this way. Just as we did on the opposite side. So we know that she tends to push it more towards her right. So we're gonna to start to build up that length. She uses a little bit of moisture. She does have curl to her hair. She doesn't like it. She likes it nice and straight. <laughs> and um, just remind us why we are cutting Amanda wet versus dry. Well, because the first haircut was cut dry, A, for a change, and B, because I could see it more visually. We're cutting Amanda's hair wet because her hair, in its natural state, is very curly or it has quite a strong wave to it, maybe not very curly. It's fine hair and I need to control it. When you cut hair wet, it's easier to control. When you cut hair dry, it's more visual. So I need to control it, but I always like to work from wet to dry. So when I say I like to work from wet to dry, I like to work from a damp state to a drier state. So I can see the fabric. much easier to control. Keep your sections nice and clean. Precision-based work uh, is beautiful. We need to charge more for the quality and the caliber of our work. 
in my salon, we train every day. Right now, there's a training class. The testament to our success is through our education. We always have great hairdressers being developed in training and evolving. That's how we've uh, managed to stay in business for uh, 18, we're, in a, we're in moving into our 18th year. We started the business in 2000 and 2001. How old were you in 2001? I'm how sorry, I was how totally... Old was <laughs> how old was you? You was in year... 2001, I was seven. Watch this, watch this, watch. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go. I need, to, I need to get more comfortable with focusing on speaking and looking at the camera. Uh -huh. um, but um, 2001, I was seven. Two thousand. How old were you, Amanda? Um, I'm not good with math, so you're, not, you're <laughs> 27, though, yeah. right? So, so she was 17 um, years ago. Like so nine, ten. Nine, ten. Yeah. yeah, me too. So I was. Right <laughs> Fine teeth of the cow. There you go, nice and clean. She's got more wiggle at the front. Around the, around the front area. That's where it kind of wiggles a lot, so we're gonna work on that in a few minutes. I don't want to cut the hair too short to begin with. Yeah, but I've got to get it cut nicely. So we'll just work it up and over until we reach the hair that we didn't that we didn't that we've already cut on the opposite side. I'm just rotating my fingers just for comfort. So when you go to the outsides of your fingers, it's for comfort. Whereas if I do this, it's less comfortable than if I were to do this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come across the top of the head. So I'm gonna go this way. Curl my hair forward, I'm gonna lift this hair straight up, and there's the little piece. Yeah, that little connector. Across, keep it nice and clean. Elevate up and see there's the connector. See that? So let's just connect. I can texturize later, but right now I just want to connect in. There it is. All right, you'll have to move away from there, Olivia, because I can't see a thing. <laughs> I still can't see a thing. Ah, thank you, Olivia. So You're kind. welcome. What, are she's, you using the mirror? Yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm using, I'm using the mirror. Mon chéri, the mirror. Lifting this up. She's looking cute. Cuter. Cuter. <laughs> no, I can speak American. Comb that hair forward. Comb it around. Nice. Okay, let's clean the hair out. Just there you go, shake that hair away. Okay. Right, go around there, the opposite side. That's it. Now let's tackle the bangaroonies. A little. There's going to be a bunching up right here because we cut the hair that way. But now what we're going to do is we're going to taper the hair down. So I'm not going to cut a blunt line in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of taper the hair down. And here we're just going to chip away. Very controlled. Come through. Section. Comb the hair over, fine teeth of the comb, in, in, Feeling good? Mm -hmm. I knew you would. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sleep pillow thing. That's what he says in his TV commercial. <laughs> so 
So I'm just rounding down. Now we're at the, the cowlick area. Yeah, when people have curly hair, they just have a lot of cowlicks. So you'll see it right here. So we're gonna work into that and I'll come from the opposite side. See, I thought cowlicks were always in the back. Right? No, you see? You learned a lot today. You learned yeah. head and shoulders. <laughs> and you learned about cowlicks. <laughs> Close your eyes. Lightly just clean the hair away. And now let's come from here. The opposite side. She's just getting more power, is that right? I Whatever. did, yeah. And here. Let's comb that down. So cut hair, not corners. So if you make a slight mistake, or not mistake, if you don't get a clean section, go back and get a clean section. Keep it nice and clean. Coming from the opposite side is gonna help you also. Remember, I've done no texturizing yet. None whatsoever, I'm just taking that like corner out around the bangaroonie. You're always looking. When I started working at Vidal Sassoon in 1980, uh, 1983, I always used to watch my hairdressers. The two, two of the best hairdressers there was a guy called Mark Hayes, who still works for Vidal Sassoon. And he is the uh, international artistic director. I used to assist him. And a lady called Pam Roscoe, who was a brilliant, hair cutter and she was tough too she was tough so it was good because in those days you got a lot of discipline and i'm a firm believer that discipline is good for uh, for all of us little discipline never hurt okay there she is right now i think it might be time to do a little bit we'll come through this way yeah i'm not going to take stretch just yet there's just a little corner there So this is a much more, uh, this is a much better length for her hair. Because it's gonna be easier to go short and easier to control. Now it's time for it to do a little texturizing. Just a little, I don't wanna go in too deep, it'll make it too weak. So just a little texturizing right at the edges, just to soften out that line. We got the general shape in soon, it's gonna start, we did a little bit of detail with the bangaroonies. And now what we're gonna do, good catch Amanda, that's it, she wins the prize. Now we start to focus in on a little detail. So if you're interested in classes, we have scissor classes, razor classes, color classes. We have combination classes, scissor and razor, color and cutting. We have a great combination of classes. All of our classes are available on erosionyc.com. And you can come to the academy here in New York. If you're a business owner, you may want to think something that we're just going to launch this year. It's only going to be 75 people. It's a, it's a program called Inspired. Yeah, it's a two day program in October. It's gonna be all about inspiration. It's for salon owners. Salon owners need to feel and they need to keep inspired. It's a big task running salons. Not only do you have to, to, to focus on running the business, you also have to focus on the personnel. You have to help them. So you also have to fill up your well. And this event that we're going to do in, in October is called Inspired. And it's an inspirational kind of reboot. So if you're feeling like, I, I, a lot of salon owners all the time tell me that they're overwhelmed. And when you deepen, when you open up a business for the first year, it's exciting. 
but year five, year six, the good news is if you're still in business in six years, you're successful, but are you making money? Are you making what you want to make? Inspired is our new program. And it's two days, it's gonna be a very boutique, high-end, elegant, inspirational event that will give you the inspiration and the success to help you through. And it will all be about the salon owner and the team leader. Only gonna be 75 seats, we're gonna start selling that literally in a couple of weeks. So if you're interested, stay focused. It's gonna have a premium price to the ticket because we're gonna make it super high end. You doing good, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now there's the length that we've cut. Well, now it's time to just refine. So let's come to the hairline here. I'm gonna spin round. You can keep the camera. And let's have a look and see how we're gonna refine this. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna kinda of create like a, a, a baseline. So now I'm just going to chip in, and I don't want it to be a hard line, but I'm going to try and go to what I call the, the actual kind of create the hairline, because she does have a lot of, uh, you know, she has a lot of natural hair right in here, so we want to kind of create like a structure, so I'm just point cutting in to kind of create the, uh, the exterior line. So with the points of the scissors. Now here's a great technique. I'm gonna ask Amanda to look left and right. That's it, quickly. It's okay, you don't have to go slow. It's so professional. That was a professional left and right. Do you do yoga? No. Well, I think you just did. You just did neck yoga. That was like, Because oh. what that does is it just shows me the hairline, how the hair sits. So you see how we've kind of created a baseline for that? Yeah, and now what we can do is we can just clean up a little because we've kind of created the baseline. It's nice to, I mean, when the clients are young, like Amanda is, you know, the skin's tight, nice and taut. But if you're cutting with a scissor, I tend to rarely use a clipper on my female clients, you know, unless they're adamant. I like to get it close with a scissor. Yeah. Again, personal preference. Left and right, please, yoga. Thank you, Yogi. <laughs> right, so you can see that that's coming. Now in here, I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna chip. A little bit of light chipping into the hair. Chipping in. Again, this is the detail work, so you're using your eyes and you're looking, you're seeing where your eye draws you. Did you have a question? No questions, I just wanted to um, spread on some of the really nice comments here. Um, Jamie Levine says, what a pleasant surprise to get, a, um, get to watch Nick do his pixie magic. Jamie Levine used to work for a Rojo. Um, she also... She went um, to our school, I think. Oh, did she? I think she Aww. may have done. Oh, she went to a Vader and joined. I can't... My memory. I think she may have gone to a Vader and joined us after a Vader. Um, and then... Dennis says, Perfection never changes. Classically perfect. Thank you so much. So the wide teeth of the curl, and I'm just slightly chipping in to the softness of the hair. This will create some diffusion. If you, if you don't get this consistent like this, what happens is it's darker in spaces, so you're looking at the overall shading. You wanna see how it all sits in. Again, once you clean the hair off, you can go back to an area. Once you've moved your eyes away from an area, and then you look back at it again for a second time, what happens is, is you see something different. Back here, drop it down. I'm gonna go with my white comb. 
Did you put my texturizers away? I did. I didn't think that you would need it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Come in this half hour this way. Okay. This is Amanda Williams. <laughs> she's like the Michelle. <laughs> and she's the Puerto Rican version. The brunette version. <laughs> so I'm not going to use my texturizing shears because somebody put them away. <laughs> right there if you need them. That's okay. I can manage, <laughs> I can manage without. Sometimes it's nice to just take your hand that you hold the scissors with and kind of have a push the hair around. See how the hair likes to fall. We used this before. I'm going to use it again. This is called dry conditioner. This is Very this fresh. product here. It's called refresh dry conditioner. Clean some of those hairs up. Close your eyes. Just a light dusting. That light condition is just going to give the hair, it's just going to calm it a little. I went to the white comb with the white teeth just so that I can now just soften the edges. looking for that detail right in here second short cut of the day I start clients today at one o'clock I got a full day from one until uh, seven o'clock I'll be cutting from one till 7 30 we have a presentation tonight celebrating 10 years of Erosio Carpentalin here <laughs> What's that about? Cosmetology. <laughs> Francesco asked, um, would you recommend slice cutting on this length of hair at this stage? You know, you can. You can. I don't want to kind of cut the hair too thin. You can. It's quite short, so point cutting I find is, uh, is better for me, for this client. But, you know, you know, I might want to kind of take it and slice cut in here if I wanted it more PC. But I don't want it too PC because I think it's better, less PC personally. Just wanna soften it out. But again, you know, never get bored. So keep using different techniques. Yeah, if you use one a lot, change it so you don't get too bored. That's my advice. When you're cutting short hair, you gotta kinda of think about this, the scalp, the shape of the head. You know, look for the way in which the hair grows. Move the hair around a little. Use your eyes. You see, like in here, you might say, hey, you know what? That might need a little softening. We're working on fine, wavy hair. And she wants a shorter, straighter cut. Yeah. So again, you notice I've taken my hands out and just pushing that hair around. Seeing how that hair sits. She's got a great features she's got you know a beautiful face so she's in good shape she's got one real eye one glass eye so she's in good shape. <laughs> make sure you comb it every way don't just comb it one way push that hair around look for the detail it's always the case my fingers are a little deeper now so I'm softening a little bit more. So when I say my fingers too deep, it means there's more hair there. More hair there. Come forward. Just another question. Yep. Would you have um, point cut the top and putting in the shape and thus saving your um, time at the end? No, because it was already texturized. I wanted to put a bit more structure in. In the salon, this will take me 25 minutes tops. I don't like to run late. I like to run to time. This will take me 25 minutes. It's a little harder today when you're doing it in front of a camera. Also when you can't really see as well when your camera is, you know, because we've got a camera in and around. We're taking our time. But yeah, in the salon, literally 25 minutes. I book on the 45. This is done in 25. No problemo. 
And you didn't can... speak Spanish, did you? <laughs> <laughs> and can you elaborate exactly why you push the hair around as you're visually... Um, looking? I'm looking for weight. I'm looking to see if there's any buildup of weight anywhere. So when you push the hair around, it kind of tells you. Use your eyes. So when you push the hair this way, you see how it falls and how it moves. You push the hair this way, exactly the same. So you're just always looking. And if you push it from side to side, you know, you're gonna see the pieciness of the shape. You're looking for the balance here, the structure. You know, she doesn't have straight hair. She has lightly textured hair. So we're gonna get it perfect because otherwise she's gonna beat me up. <laughs> Almost done. Now we will use a little bit of product. I think we will use a little bit of uh, defining cream mm -hmm. in the hair. And then we'll dry it. Move the dryer through it. So don't forget, if you're interested, definitely check us out. You can come to the salon tonight. We have a party from 7 to 10 o'clock. Presentation with our alumni. They're going to be presenting their techniques. We have some young hairdressers. And even Olivia, who is a young hairdresser, but by our book, she's kind of seasoned now. Yeah, yeah. she's going to be presenting <laughs> too. So have a model presentation about 8 o'clock. Come down, have a glass of wine, a glass of champers with us celebrate our cosmetology school 10 years uh, if you're interested in cosmetology school come down check out the school check out the vibe check out who we are check out what we believe in and then uh, next week uh, next week I'm gonna be in Connecticut Greenwich Connecticut at Piri hair studio and always come check us out complimentary education come and see us in person happy Mondays we'll go for a drink after and then Elevate Hair, Lena Arojo is going to be at Elevate Hair. That's in New Orleans. And then we'll, the following weekend, we're going to be in uh, Los Angeles at the ICE show, or the ISSE show. And I'll have my trade booth there, and my ambassadors are going to be there helping. So we've got a fun packed start to the year. Um, Francisco asks, is the top disconnected at any point? No, Francisco, the top is not disconnected at all. It's all connected in, you can see. It's all connected in. No disconnection whatsoever. You don't want disconnection on this kind of hair because on this kind of hair, if she's gonna wear her hair straight and it's disconnected, you're gonna end up with a lump. And I don't want a lump. My lady, lady lumps. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, let's clean the hair off. I'm almost done. Just have a start to see how she looks. I'm gonna clean the hairline up just a little more before I move off from here. So come down here, you can unplug now if I'm gonna survive here. Yeah. Chin down for me please, Amanda. Thank you. So just tighten. Just gently line the scissors flat. Just tighten. Lie the scissors flat and just try and create that. So it's kind of a definitive hairline, but not a harsh line. It's kind of a little piece of side to side. There you go, and you'll see that we managed to get that. When she moves side to side, it allows her hair to fall into the perfect natural state. Okay. Let's take all the hair away. I'm gonna take a little bit of defining cream and I'm gonna dry it in. So this is our defining cream. Mm, 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 mm. Do you feel like you've taken acid? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of this defining cream. It's a fresh one. Just take a little bit of it. 
and we're gonna just place it right in my thumb or in the palm of my hand and I'm gonna rub it in. I'm gonna rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. And I'm gonna rub it in both hands so I get a nice film. So I got a nice clear film and I'm gonna work it into her hair. You can see that straight away. <laughs> 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 we have a lot of fun playing with hair. Yeah, when you're, when you're a freak like me. And he has an any hairdresser. <laughs> yes. It's, <fine. laughs> it's good. A little bit of hydro. Did you apply a pre styling to thicken it up? Or is there a particular reason why you used defining cream before blow drying? I wanted to put it in, I'm going to blood blast it. I wanted to move it and manipulate it around. Yeah? She wants the PCness and she gets the PCness with the defining cream. Gives her that PC, PC look. Now we'll blast it with a dryer. So no round brush. No round, round brush. brush not needed. <laughs> Whenever you get the chance, Nick, can you just go over the technique that you use for the latecomers? Yeah, I will go through everything. Well, the latecomers, the good news is latecomers, you can always go back and watch it. But I'll show you. And now I'm going to put some dry, some dry, dry te texture spray. This is called refinish. Fog machine. <laughs> Let's go with the nightclub vibe. <laughs> so that gives it that texture now, you see? So that texture, that kind of thickness. It gives it some shine too. It gives it some shine, that's the defining cream, give it a little bit of sheen. Mm -hmm. Also, it's the height, the, uh, you know, the hydro mist. You like it? I love it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So basically what we did was we sectioned at the round of the head and then we kind of sat in and followed it all the way around. Once we got to this, as we transitioned from the side into the back, we then worked across the top. We went over the center of the head. So we cut literally all of this side first. Then we came back to this side, knocked it out, sectioned the hair, worked it all the way flat. And then we transitioned up and over. So pulling the hair up and over, leaving more length through the center. Then I cross-checked through the middle and just texturized. And then I literally came down the bangs and kind of took the weight out the bangs this way. So we don't have a corner there. That kind of sits the bang in. If she spins a little bit this way, see how that sits that bang in? as opposed to, so you literally take the corner out and it sits flatter. And then the rest, we kind of created our hairline. If you have a look here, we created a, like an outline for the hairline because she has quite a low hairline. And then we just personalized the cup. And we did two short haircuts today. We had a lot of fun. I think we had a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun? <laughs> I did. So don't forget, you can definitely come and see us next week in, uh, in Connecticut. I will be in Greenwich, Connecticut on Monday night, 5.30. RSVP, space is limited, complimentary. Also, elevate hair. Next weekend in New Orleans. Definitely check out Lena. She's gonna be there on stage sharing a Rojo technique. If you're interested in classes, you want to learn razor cutting, my sig signature technique, come to our razor class. Our first razor class of the year, it's Razor Fundamentals, it's going to be taught by me. And if you can't wait until February the 4th, then come down to Soho tonight 
for our cosmetology school celebration. 10 years of cosmetology. Loretta O'Connell is here in the house and she's the teacher, she's our principal. She started the school with me 10 years ago and you're actually kind of in the academy right now. And this used to be a big wine warehouse and as I tell everybody, once I drunk the wine, I turned it into an academy. <laughs> So come and check us out. Amanda feels happy. Yes. I'm gonna take some pictures of her. We'll post them on our Instagram. We'll see you next next week for Brooklyn Live. Hopefully we'll be in Brooklyn. We weren't in Brooklyn this week because the city shut the water off for the fourth time. Thank you, Mr. de Blasi. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, thank you.